hello hello and welcome to careers beyond motherhood live where today i'm going to be talking about finding happiness as a working mum so for those of you that don't know me and are tuning in for the first time my name is janine s brand and i'm the founder of lightbox coaching where i help women to return to work with confidence and to build careers that they love whilst raising a family and i do that through private coaching through my smooth return course and through my new membership um the careers beyond motherhood collective all right so we're diving into this topic because we talked about it this week on the careers beyond motherhood podcast and if you haven't checked out the podcast you should totally go and do that because it's awesome i interview some really inspirational women about their journeys um, into motherhood and they share tips and insights and inspiration with us to help us along our journey so Type one in the comments if you have struggled with finding happiness some days in motherhood when everything's crazy, the kids are not doing what you want them to do, there's stresses at work, there's stresses at home and you just feel a bit down and a bit like, oh, it's just not all going right. So type one if you've experienced that because I totally have. So today I want to share with you some of the key nuggets that I took from my conversation with Clarissa Raywood. So she was the guest on the podcast for this week and um, we talked about her journey. So she is a mother of two. She's a lawyer. She's an author. She runs her own law practice. She, she's also a podcast host. So she runs a podcast called Happy Lawyer, Happy Life. Um, and we talked about her journey and a lot of the things we've talked about, I think um, people can resonate with. And I just wanted to pull out some of the key points today for you um, that you could maybe apply. So the first thing that we talked about was the what happens when your expectations don't match reality. So for Clarissa, she had a really difficult pregnancy. Um, she thought that her morning sickness would just last for the first three months, but it went on for her entire pregnancy. She just felt so awful that she just wanted to lie down all the time. Um, and she had to run her her legal practice she had a business to run so she had to figure out how to navigate that while she was feeling ill so she had to put boundaries in place she had to delegate to people she had to figure out how she was going to make it work and she said it was quite helpful because when the baby then came she'd already set up some systems in place to make sure that she could step away from the business so that was the first thing just realizing that sometimes you have all these expectations of how things are going to go and they don't go the way you planned and that can really throw you off course um the other thing that that led to for her and the other thing for us to to think about is what do you do when when um when that happens and what we came to was you should really go with the flow so there's some things you can control but there's a lot of things that you can't control when it comes to pregnancy when it comes to motherhood when it comes to different transitions with your career and so sometimes um it's it's right that you should plan and you should put things in place but other times you have to go with the flow and you just have to go with what's happening, adapt, adjust and um, and go forward that way. So that was another thing that we learned. Uh, and then the last thing that I want to share with you, because I really want you to go listen to the episode, but one of the things she shared was this really great acronym. Um, so when she was talking about how we can strive towards finding happiness in our, in our lives as working mums, she had a, an acronym and it's HAPPY. So the H is for health. So the number one thing is for you to look after your health because if you don't look after your health you can't do anything else so you're not going to be able to um it's really hot in this bar you're not going to be able to serve the people around you well you're not going to be able to do what you need to do if you don't look after your health you're going to end up sick and then if you're sick you can't do what you need to do so prioritizing your health is really really important that's the first thing the next thing is attitude so we talked about having um an attitude of gratitude hi whoever's joining type in the comments and let me know um who's joining so Yes, we talked about an attitude of gratitude and how sometimes when we are working parents, we can think about the load, we can think about how hard it is to do everything. But instead of thinking like that, she was talking about shifting our mindset so that you're saying, um, instead of I have to go to work, you're saying I get to go to work. Instead of saying, oh, I have to deal with X, Y, or Z, just saying I get to do it. And just shifting your mindset and saying, actually, this is this is a choice, this is something that I'm choosing to do, and there's a reason for it, can help you to feel a lot more positive about everything. Um, Hi, Farida. Uh, lovely to have you. How are you? How's your baby? How's your baby girl? I hope she's well. Um, she's gorgeous looking at her in the pictures. Um, yeah, so the second thing is attitude. Your attitude really changes the way you think and feel about what you're doing on a day-to-day. 
Then the P was passion. So when you are working, um, you need to be looking at what your passions are. Like, have you found work that you're passionate about? If you haven't found work that you're passionate about, you can do a side project that you're passionate about. But having some passion in your life, and then the second P is purpose, is really important. So what is your purpose? Have you figured out what you are wanting to do and what you are here to do so are you feeling fulfilled in the work that you're doing do you feel like you should be doing that do you feel like you should be doing something else do you need to go on a quest to figure out what is your purpose in terms of um in terms of your career Uh, because if you find it then you're going to be a lot happier and then the last thing was being yourself so once you embrace fully being yourself there's so much that shifts in terms of how satisfied you feel and how fulfilled and at peace you feel so for me when I became a mum that was my the permission that I needed to just say yeah this is me and I'm just going to be me wherever I am I'm not going to try and put on um what I think people want from me but I'm going to just be be me and that just shifted the way that I show up in terms of my work in terms of uh the the people that I work with the clients that I see the work that I do on the legal side and also the coaching side and so I think that being able to be aware of your self and what what your strengths are what your weaknesses are what make you tick and then also just fully embracing it and then being able to show up and share it with everybody is really really um a key ingredient to to being yourself so that was her happy acronym it was really cool really um simple but impactful so i want you to go and listen to the episode so it's episode 32 of the podcast you can head over to lightboxcoaching.com forward slash episode 32 to check it out um and if you want to continue this conversation and share about your journey to as a as a working mum then come over to the careers beyond motherhood community so that's my private facebook group where we are in there talking about all things careers and motherhood related so it's the careers beyond motherhood community i'd love to have you in there and that's all for me today oh excuse me so just to recap so we were talking about expectations versus reality we were talking about going with the flow in motherhood and we were talking about the key ingredients to finding happy in um your work life so that's all today i'm gonna hop off now because i need to go get some lunch i hope you're all right faraday it is lovely having you join us today and if you're catching the replay do type in the comments that you caught the replay let me know where you're joining from and i will see you again next week have a great afternoon bye